Hi guys, Peter Webster here, and you're watching Pet Rock Asks. Hope you enjoy, guys. <laughs> everyone welcome back to my channel pet rock and roll i'm amy and this is the eighth episode of pet rock asks and today i'm going to be joined by sir peter webster yes very excited to have peter on board doing this episode with me so my first question to you then peter is when did you first start keeping inverts and what was your first invert right that's an easy one it was exactly the 17th of november 2017 and i first started off after my wife said that after 26 years i could have a tarantula um i bought three which was a brachypalma smithy sling a brachypalma albop sling and a trixapalma laguna sling and out of those, I've still got the two brackies, but the Thrixapalma passed away. No, that's crazy. How could you have only been doing this since 2017? You seem so professional, like you've been doing it forever. Your, your attitude and confidence uh, around the tarantulas is just amazing. Like you've been doing it forever. Just, yeah, that, that, that just blows my mind. That really does. But yeah, fantastic. And uh, yes, definitely those three um, spiders that you first got, they're amazing. Brachypelmas are one of my favorite genus. Honestly, they really are. Um, so yeah, perfect first three tarantulas. And yeah, just uh, escalated from there, didn't it? <laughs> so my next question to you then, again, as everybody knows, if you've been watching my other episode, it isn't a question really. It's just me wanting to see one of your tarantulas and knowing all about it. So go ahead, pick one for me and tell me all about it. You might all guess it's my Arpactera porcupies, my golden blue legged baboon. These guys are old worlds, not so aggressive as some of the old world species, got to be said. These are quite docile and apart from a good feeding response, they don't, they're not very jumpy at all. Um, adult males can reach around 5 inches and females around 6 inches there about. Females have got a lifespan between 15 to 20 years, males considerably less. Uh, I think they mature at around 3 years and after maturity you might get up to 12-15 months life out of them after that. Um, I absolutely love this species and this is what started my YouTube career. Well, my hobby into YouTube, let's say, not a career. And those of you who remember me going back, I had my t-shirt with the big H pork piece on the front. And now, yeah, there's a picture of uh, on my logo in my hat in my new logo and I'll just show you my little girl she's uh, definitely female molted her as female and there she is and that's my beautiful golden blue legged baboon golden blue legged baboon amazing amazing tarantula honest to god um i'm not going to try to say its scientific name because i'm so bad at saying the scientific names i really am um but yeah that that's a, an amazing tarantula um and the age that they live like the comparison from a female to a male is so different isn't it it's the, a big gap in between so yeah good for you that you have a female anyway and she's beautiful absolutely beautiful so my last question to you then peter is i really really want to know how many inverts and reptiles you have um, I just, yeah, I'm so intrigued as to how many you've got. So, come on, tell me. How many have I got? Right. Reptiles, that's an easy one. I've got three snakes, three lizards and a tortoise. A leopard tortoise is actually my wife's. I have a jaguar carpet python who's six foot long named Pearl. 
I have an A foot um, Platinum Tiger male reticulated python named Jesse Rue and a baby <coughs> sorry guys a baby corn snake named Snappy because the little bugger keeps biting um, lizards I have a tangerine hypo coloured tail leopard gecko I would say crested a leopard gecko I have my new guy down below me which is a baby black and white Argentine tiger and I have the evil one over there which is a blue tongue skink so that's an easy one to answer seven reptiles in total now inverts uh, <coughs> I think what the best thing to do is I'll get my wife to pan round there's 35 shelves that I've got inverts on and each shelf has between 10 and 20 per shelf plus I have this, this communal here Let's move a bit of clutter there's Gandalf um, in there we have isopods four different species there's five different species of millipedes um, plus a colony of springtails and all different bits and bobs in there so there's about 150 in there plus about a thousand springtails now I'll just get it to pan around from this corner here this corner there we have the leopard gecko we have the complete set of pokies with two communals and a male and female at the back and then we go to all the huntsman and the carabiner versicolor and vicularia species and from the blue shells all the way down there are vinegaroons, scorpions I think about 300 tarantulas uh, centipedes about 15 15 scorpions or so and all different ones on there and they go right down to that corner there and up the corner we have my two frogs which we haven't named yet i haven't picked a name yet but i think i'm going to give a salt and pepper what my wife suggested and i've got a my big frog down there which is named Hardy and he's an African bullfrog otherwise known as a pixie frog not pixie but for the size but pixie cephalus as the genus so I think guys that's how many I've got do the maths yourself if you feel like you want to but one day I will get to count them all oh my goodness do you know what every time i watch one of your videos and i see you sitting there like i am now i would never have imagined that just at the side of you was all of those tarantulas and other inverts that's incredible peter thank you so much for showing me that and you say so on average so you've got 35 shelves and on average between 10 and 20 inverts on each shelf so what's that let me think so that's roughly then, so if we say 10, that's between 350 and 700 inverts. That's incredible. How do you even have the time to deal with all of that? It takes me like at least an hour and a half to, to just feed the tarantulas that I've got. And I have a tiny amount in comparison to you. So that concludes this episode anyway. Um, and just, yeah, huge, huge, huge thank you to Peter Webster for coming on board. I'm gonna pop a link to his um, channel in the description to go over and check him out. He's nearly at a thousand subscribers and he is doing a humongous giveaway once he gets to a thousand. So go over subscribe and enter that giveaway because it's going to be epic absolutely epic so my next episode is going to involve somebody that I have met before um, at one of the tarantula shows I can't really give you a clue without giving too much away but if you've watched his videos and his content then the little clue I can give is that he has a beautiful cat called Chase <laughs> so until I see you next time, take care of yourselves. I'm going to pop you back over to Peter Webster now for the outro.
Bye. I'd like to thank Amy. It's been a pleasure to do this series of pet rock asks with her and the rest of the YouTubers. It's been a privilege. And check her, check out her channel, guys. She's really good. I love it. I actually had the pleasure of meeting at one of the shows. So there we go, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the videos. Thank you, Amy. Bye-bye.